I'm John Paul Grant, this is Luke Slater and we're both from Stop Overdose Now. Stop Overdose Now is building an app that will connect people who are in acute need of uh, assistance with an overdose with people who are carrying naloxone in the vicinity in real time. We are testing the app actually at the conference and it's, uh, I can show you, it's the app. You either register or log in. It logs in automatically. There's a number of modes. A helper mode, a user mode, and some research settings. But we concentrate on the first two. If you go, if you go use drugs, you know, you put all your stuff on the table to prepare. Now you put your phone next to it, and you put it in helper mode. You prepare your drugs. Yeah? And if you're done preparing, you say check on me, and you can basically turn on an act timer, and at the end of that interval that you set there, it will ask you, are you okay? And if not, it will automatically generate an overdose alert. So, and um, maybe you can show then uh, the helper mode. Yeah, so uh, the other side of that, uh, apart from uh, being a user, is also uh, being an OD buster or a helper. And so if you're uh, carrying naloxone um, and you're sort of a, a vetted helper, then you'd be walking around with this sort of mode uh, on in your phone and we can see you have a sort of similar sort of map component and information about what's happening locally here. Um, and the idea is that when one of these alerts is triggered, um, we can demonstrate for you. We get a very sort of uh, loud noise, um, and we can uh, respond to that if we want to. Um, and we see uh, information about the uh, alert here. Um, and then, if we choose to help this person, we get some uh, sort of help to um, facilitate um, accessing this person. And eventually, we'll have sort of step-by-step -step instructions on how to administer naloxone and so on. Um, and so, yes. And we can also navigate by Google Maps or uh, call EMS or um, anything that will sort of uh, be helpful in that situation. Well, what's interesting is that um, we are now testing the first prototype. We have applied to the European Commission for funding to pilot and scientifically evaluate the app in, um, in Dublin, in Paris, and in Tallinn, in Estonia. And we hope to get, uh, you know, the outcome of our application in June. And if so, we will be starting with the evaluation and further building of the app. You know, there will be many more functions in it. Um, you know, somewhere towards the end of the year.